All right. <clears throat> so, going to mention curl this morning. There's again so much you can do with this command. We're not going to get through all of it, but just to introduce you to it uh, is the purpose here. You probably already you're probably already somewhat familiar with it if you've ever programmed in any scripting language like Python or PHP or Ruby. You've heard of curl, the curl libraries. Um, let you fetch a web page. So let's just take a simple example. Curl ipmonger.com spits out the HTML to your screen. And you pipe it to head. Gives you a little progress bar and some information. If you want the headers, do dash I, capital I. See more about it. Um, let's say I wanted to fetch the SSL version of this page. It spits out an error saying, hey, you need to give me the CA cert and tell me where the certificate is that I should trust. Or you can give it a dash K option to ignore certificate. The certificate that you get back. There you go. Now, say I wanted to send some data. Uh, R equals some data. You can uh, either do var to other var, like so. Curl dash D and other var. Okay, probably need to put it in quotes, so I'm going to use the ampersand. So I'm on the web server over on this side, and I see that I'm using curl. I'm tailing the web server logs, and I see that post has come in. Okay. I could also just give two argument or two dash d's for our equals Let's see that made it across as well. Okay, so what else can we do? We could just pass along some data in our query stream. R equals three. That it comes across, not surprisingly. Um, sometimes you might want to fetch uh, something for action of a, you know, for a script to take action on. That's really one of the great things about curl. So let's say I have. Let's say I have a. JSON sitting out there somewhere and maybe it wants to download as a file instead of just showing me what's in the JSON. So, you know, if I use just my browser. So let's curl this address. Well, it would take a long time, wouldn't it? Oh, there you go. Spitting 
out some data that I've uploaded using their API over at data.sparkphone.com. And so I could feed that to some other script and then pipe it to grep. Let's grep for anything with a value of 800. Well, there's all my 800 values. Isn't that nice? Uh, you could pipe it to something like uh, uh, XPath. You know, and find a particular node within the HTML slash XML. You could use a program like uh, Time to see how long it takes to load the file or download it. Wow, seems like there. Web server is a little bit flaky over there. Alright, so here's your wall clock time that it took to download that that data. It's a good it's a good way to uh, assess your website and you know, performance. Say so look at pga.edu. Oops. And you don't have to do HTTP. Just do this. 1.192 seconds. <laughs> of course, they have a lot heavier site than I do. All right. So that's curl. Uh, and let's see what the man page says real quick. What am I forgetting to tell you about? Is obviously helpful. You know, you can tell it to be quiet. Don't do a progress bar. You can switch your user agent with the dash A, like I could say. Oh. A lot of sites won't won't give you anything back if you're using curl. You know, they want they want to keep out the curl clients. I can fool it, tell it it's Mozilla or whatever I want. Um, you can tell it to save the cookies. That's, I, I won't go through that, but tell it where your cookie jar is. You can do basic authentication. Oops. Man. Obviously, lots of stuff. You can use, use it for doing FTP. Do client certificates. You can URL encode the data. It'll do that for you. I went up to go down. You can fill out form data. Yeah, uh, with dash H, um, maybe I missed that. You can send it any any manner of header that you want. So that's handy if you need to send an auth token or something else like that. Oh, let's take curl. That's interesting. Alright, so here's an example of a site that wants to redirect. So to follow that redirect, you just do a dash capital L takes that 301 or 302 and follows it to the to the end rather than giving you an error. All right, I'm going to stop there. Um, that's curl. It's awesome. You should use it often. It's a great way to fetch web pages and uh, automate things.
Oh yeah, uh, especially for like posting data to an API. Um, quick and dirty way to, to get data into most APIs. Yeah, all right, thanks.